The spokesman of the House of Representatives, Honorable Akin Rotimi from Ekiti State, could not hold back tears while presenting his motion on the spate of killings and adoption in Ekiti State. The federal lawmaker, while presenting the motion under matters of urgent national importance, lamented the recent killings of two traditional rulers, the Onimojo of Imojo Ekiti, Oba Olatunji Samuel Olushola, and the election of Eshun Ekiti, Oba David Babatunde Ogunshola, by armed bandits, a commercial driver, and a kidnap of students at Emure Ekiti, and a general insecurity in Ekiti and environs on Monday, January 29. 2024. He called on the Chief of Army Staff to deploy military to the outpost along the Okiako in Ekiti and the Inspector General of Police to deploy personnel to the state and also FEMA to rehabilitate failed portions of the road as a matter of urgency. The House further urges the Chief of Army Staff to redeploy military personnel to the outpost along the Okiako area to enhance security and forestall a repeat of such acts. The House also directs the Inspector General of Police, the Commandant General of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, and other security agencies to deploy more men to the North One and ensure that those who carried out those acts are fished out and brought to justice. The House also urges the security agencies to put all measures in place to rescue the school children and teachers who were abducted in Emure Ekiti. The House also compels the Ministry of Works and FEMA to immediately rehabilitate the Ayedu to Irele Road and other roads in the federal constituents. The House also mandates the House Committee on Legislative Compliance to ensure compliance and report back to the House in two weeks. In a related development, the House aired the Chief of Defense Staff to establish civilian joint forces in Plateau State following the attacks which leads to the death of 50 persons, several seriously injured, over 1,000 houses, and the people of Mango local government. Let's note that on the 24th, of January 2024, there was another attack on the people of Mongo local government area of Plateau State, killing more than 50 persons, other serious injuries with over 1,000 houses and properties, or billions of naira completely destroyed, with about 20,000 people displaced at different IDP camps within and outside the local government area. Further note that most of the victims that sustain various degrees of injuries are currently receiving medical attention in different hospitals within the state. Worried that the continuous attack by terrorists in Mongo local government area and Bokos local government in area of Plateau State need to be addressed immediately. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.